So in our last video about the DJI Neo 2, we didn't get to cover everything because leaks were popping up every few minutes or hours. Today, we're finally going to dive deep into the stuff we missed, and at the end, I'll link our previous video if you want even more details. And hey, if you like getting the latest drone leaks and tech breakdowns in real time, hit that subscribe button. I promise we won't spam you with just specs and numbers. Let's start with something pretty interesting, the Neo 2 transceiver. From what the leaks are showing, this is a totally new move from DJI. It's a detachable module that seems designed to let the Neo 2 use OcuSync, probably OcuSync 4, with dedicated DJI remotes and goggles like the Goggles N3 or the Motion Controller. In simple terms, this could give the drone way longer range and lower latency than its built-in Wi-Fi, which is mostly for short-range smartphone control. From the images, it looks like this module just plugs into a USB-C port on the back of the drone. This modular setup might actually be DJI's way of offering a budget-friendly base model. Imagine getting the drone with just Wi-Fi control, short range, higher latency, to save weight and improve flight agility. Then, if you want professional level, low latency, long range control, you just snap on the separate OcuSync module. Pretty clever, right? And just to put this in perspective, for the vast majority of consumer DJI drones, the transceiver isn't detachable, so this is a pretty unique move for the Neo 2. Uh, next up, let's talk about something a bit more debated, the omnidirectional vision sensors. Those black rectangular bars on either side of the camera? Yep, those are most likely the front-facing vision sensors. These little guys let the drone see its environment and avoid obstacles automatically. Huge upgrade from the first Neo, which only had downward-facing sensors for positioning. Jasper Ellens via Drone XL mentioned infrared lidar might be in the mix for even better safety and AI tracking. That would be amazing, but judging by the images, the black bars are almost certainly standard binocular vision cameras for forward obstacle avoidance. Fitting both LiDAR and these sensors into such a compact drone would be impressive, so we'll have to wait for official specs to know for sure. Alright, let's talk money. Australian pricing straight from a webshop link shared by Jasper. DJI seems to be positioning the Neo 2 in a much higher tier segment than the original Neo, which was known for being super budget friendly. The battery is now $129 up from $59. That jump hints at serious upgrades. Higher capacity, longer flight times, roughly a 12% increase a new design sitting on top of the drone, and maybe smarter, more advanced cells on par with their mini or air series batteries. Charging hubs are also pricier at $79, which makes sense considering they're managing these beefed up batteries. Even the propellers and guards cost more. Props are quieter thanks to a new design, and the guards are now double layered, seem to justify the price hike. So that's the Neo 2 in a nutshell, the detachable transceiver, the forward-facing vision sensors, and the upgraded pricing and accessories. Stick around for more leaks and official announcements, and if you want even more info, check out our previous Neo 2 video, I'll link it right here. Peace.